Will an update to what's going on at ground level in China at the blast site where all the speculation is surrounding what happened at this facility? There is all kinds of different theories, rumor, talk of what exactly could have went down. But one thing is for sure. There was multiple explosions. One was super massive. And what it's left behind are just absolutely staggering amounts of cyanide levels. These are super high. Some of the readings up to 356 times the normal. And the people in this area are just going berserk. They're storming down to other places. Protesters are showing up with masks, banners. They're screaming, saying, we cannot live here. Our life is in jeopardy. Our health is in jeopardy. They're going to bury all this toxic stuff all over the place around us. They have nowhere to go. They want answers. They want help. And one of the biggest philanthropists in this area was out on the ground trying to help people and I guess succumbed to the toxic fumes in the air and they had to rush that person to the hospital. They're saying that the cyanide pollution is severe inside this warning zone. And the people are just super upset. And they're also saying that there's lack of information on this whole thing because the Chinese government has swooped in and clamped down on everything. And if you're a journalist in China and you dare try to get the truth out and put it out there, they can hit you with the charge. And it's China. They could put a bullet in your head. So, very, very tight lid being kept on all the other information, aside from what independent people were finding out out here, um, that they just can't keep a lid on. And, you know, that's when you've got hundreds and thousands of people on the scene down here and they need help. Um, there's going to be information that slips out. And, Journalists are the ones that do it, but it's also oftentimes tracked back to those journalists later, and then that's when they have to deal with the, the problem. But at this point, it still remains up in the air as to exactly what went down here. But one thing's for sure, these Sinai levels are through the roof, and the people are highly upset. $1.5 in insurance losses they're talking already. I'll leave a link with more info. It's been Dabu 7.